All right, folks. Today we're going to, I'm going to review the Urban Carry Holster for you. Urban Carry Holster. So I'm always looking for different ways to get creative and conceal firearms or a firearm on me. So um, I came across this and I watched the videos and I'm like, man, that's pretty freaking slick. I like that. Um, so I went ahead and rogered up and paid the 60 some bucks for it, whatever it was, and uh, had it sent in. Uh, at first glance, when I first got it, I opened up my box and uh, got this fancy schmancy little bag, right? Good for holding whatever. And uh, a sticker and some other little doodads. Um, yeah. So I pulled my Urban Carry holster out. Now this may be the older model. I got this about eight months ago, six, eight months ago. And uh, so, and I think they've come out with a newer model since. What I was looking for for me was um, something to carry my Glock 19 pistol in. So um, this would be ideally an appendix carry uh, position. You put it on the inside of your pants and uh, drop your gun down in there and you know if you haven't seen the videos and whatever so it looks like this and your gun's down your pants okay and here in a minute i'll stop the video get it set up and i'll show you um, but then the belt goes through your loop here and whatnot so before i get into that um, a couple of things the way i primarily like to carry i've carried with leather mags and your gun and all that stuff depending on the time of year you can get away with different things um, this time of year it's a little chilly out right i got a fire in the stove it's snowing right now uh, so you can wear more clothes and you can bulk up but when you get in the summer and you're wearing your, your your shorts and your jab flaps and a little tank top and looking all cool and, and enjoying the weather then um it's it's hard to to put that stuff on your mag pouch and, and, a, and a leather holster because you're going to print right it's going to get bulky uh, you don't want to be that guy wearing the the photo jacket fishing jacket vest thing and um, because it just screams i've got a gun on me so the way i primarily do it this is the way i've been doing it for a long time um it's probably not the most ideal way but it works for me and uh, all it is is I reach in here like so, I get a good grip of my pistol, I pull it out, and there's my gun, I've presented my pistol. Um, what I've got, and I can make another video out of that, I ordered a sheet of Kydex on the interwebs and uh, formed this, and it's just a trigger guard. That's all it is. Um, I roll condition one, one in the pipe, um, but when I come out, it pops off and uh, I'm ready to go. So, um, but I'll go ahead, I'm gonna stop this video right quick and I'll set this up, this Urban Carry holster. Um, one thing I will point out is uh, belts. So, years ago, um, when I first really started carrying a thick leather, inch and a half, you know, belt is ideal. Um, that'll prevent your uh, the belt from folding over or, or whatever, um, and it really gives a holster, whether it's a clip-on holster uh, or through the loops, it'll really give it something to sit on. I wore one for years. Um, this one, as a matter of fact, uh, I went down to this one. It's a little thinner, right? A little thinner than uh, than this one here. Man, I just. Over the years of wearing a gun, um, I kind of just got sick of my Dunlap because my belly Dunlapped over. Every when I'd sit in a vehicle for a while, and that sucker would just dig. And at the end of the day, on my hip bones, I was raw, and I'm like, dude, you know what? I'm going back to what Uncle Sam gave me years ago, and it's this. Um, I wear this almost every day because it's comfortable. So. Getting back to the Urban Carry holster, I'm gonna pause it, I'll come put this on, we'll come back and we'll play with it. All right, stand by. All right, so we're back. 
I'm going to put my belt on. So what I did was I went with the thin belt. Because um, like any new piece of leather, a uh, new ball glove, you're not going to get a brand new ball glove and go play a game that night. Um, you get a new pair of combat boots, you're not going to take your combat boots and go walk 12 miles. Um, not advantageous to you at all. So that being said, um, I've worn a couple different belts uh, with this Urban Carry holster and um, it still hasn't stretched out enough so I just put this one on for demo purposes. So here's the idea. Gun's clear and safe, don't worry about me, I'm not going to shoot you because you're watching, but it is clear and safe. Um, so I roll condition one, one of the pipe all the time when I carry a gun. Um, that's me. So you do whatever you want. I carry a Glock. Um, that's my jam. So here's the idea. Okay. So um, with you don't really even need a cover shirt. You, my, there's the pistol right here. Okay. It's down my pants. I can reach in. I can grab my keys. Um, Whatever. If somebody sees it, they're probably not going to think much of it, um, especially an untrained eye. I'd probably take a second look because if if it was one of those phone holsters, it's going to bulge out a little bit more. If I didn't notice that, I'd be like, okay, what's what's this business? Talking about belts because this belt is flimsy. You can see it's wanting to kind of turn and roll just a bit. <clears throat> That's the issue I had with this holster. So, but the idea is I grab my little flap flapper do here, right? I pull it up, present my pistol, come out and, and do whatever I'm gonna do with it, okay? So this is a Glock 19, right? So one in the pipe, it's not now. I've got one in the, my condition one. Boom, I'm set to go. It's a little chilly, but I'll go this route. Um, all right, so I'm walking along. I've got a gun, the Glock 19 right here. I'm doing my thing. You're none the wiser, right? Pull it out and then go to work. Issue is it catches a little bit. So I'm, I'm aware of that since I've used this a few times. Um, so I gotta suck in my fat gut when I go to pull it out. If I don't suck in my gut and kind of, which if you're a Penix carrier, you're gonna get used to doing that anyway. But if I just try to yank that sucker up, it's not going to come out. I got to suck in my gut and then it'll come straight up. Um, this is a good position for that, for drawing. Glock 19, right? So this size and larger, you're at max capacity for this whole holster, in my unprofessional opinion. Okay. Um, I'm not crazy about this because the issue I run into when I carry this, or I have carried it, um, the situation will dictate where I'm going, what I'm doing, what I need to dress in. But when I'm sitting down and driving in my truck, that is really hard because my hip flexor is right here. I can barely get my leg up. So what do I need to do? Jam that sucker over. Now it's right here. Okay, it's in my groin. I can get my leg up. That's not comfortable. Right? Like this, case in point, if you've got gear that's not comfortable, you're not going to wear it. It's just that. That's why I don't wear this. It's not comfortable. Okay? Um, I don't want, I just, <laughs> it looks goofy. I don't want this sticking out. Now, what would be more ideal and what this works better with is this guy, 43, right? So your shields, um, your 42, your 43, LC9s, whatever, your little little pistols. This works a lot better. Um, you don't worry about, you don't stand the, the risk of printing near as much, right? Um, I can move my leg up pretty freely, a lot more comfortably. Um, draw on, it comes right out, and I can go to town. So, I say all that to say, that's my review. Uh, I've tried wearing this holster further around on the side over here, but then it just digs into my hip bone. Um, again, it's not comfortable. 
the grip of the pistols right here and it sticks out real big. So I'm like, you know what? I don't usually carry a Glock 43. That's actually my wife's. Um, I'm a 19 guy, not to say I won't. It depends on what you're doing and what you're dressing for. Again, if it's summer, you're going to hang out with your, your bros down at the river or whatever the case may be, you may wear a 43 and this may be perfect. Um, if you're wearing a suit and tie, suit jacket, dude, 14, I'd probably more than likely go inside the waistband, but you can even get away with outside the waistband holster because you've got your sports coat on. Um, so it all depends on how you dress. Closing remarks for today is buy gear, right? Um, you're going to be in a lot of different scenarios and situations and environments. So if you're wearing board shorts, tank top, and jab flaps, then something like this would probably be fantastic. And your little you know, small frame pistol. Uh, Wintertime, you know, you break out your Gucci Go Faster 1911s or your Glocks or whatever. I probably wouldn't wear this, especially if you're fighting with clothing. So you got to clear clothing and then rip this up. So not ideal. Um, what do I rate this on a scale of 1 to 10? A 5. Um, I like it for the concept and the idea, um, but its functionality, I don't wear it. I've had it like 8 months and I don't wear it and I won't wear it. Um, you know, I'm going to try again this summer with some shorts and whatnot, but uh, man, my freaking Kydex deal just seems to work for me. So do, uh, do what works best for you and I uh, hope that helps. That's the Urban Carry Holster and that's my review. God bless.